I wanted to show you a project that I completed some time ago. This is one of those Lysol hand dispenser soap dispensers. And what you do is you wave your hand underneath here and it dispenses soap out in the right amount for you to be able to wash your hands and uh, stay sanitary in the bathroom. However, uh, the refills are quite expensive considering how much you get. These run out really fast and they're like $5 a piece. So what I've done is, if you look on the back here, once it, your dispenser is completely empty, there's a button here that you push. This will release it. You'll see there's a little bit of soap residue in there. And then this is what you have. This is the refill. And you can see this one's old and kind of wore out because we've been using the same one for quite some time. Um, the lid is weird. Uh, it's a strange setup. And there's videos online that shows people prying these off and heating them up and doing all that. And that's all great and dandy, but the way I've got it set up, you don't even need to remove it. So we'll go ahead and click this back into place. And what you do is, uh, whenever this is empty, um, and it's out of the, 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 the dispenser itself, um, this will be all flat. There is no cap or anything on here. This is a cap that I installed in a hole that I installed. What you do is you uh, use your drill. If you want to use a drill, start with a small bit, maybe a quarter inch, and then go ahead and put a larger bit in there. Do the quarter inch as a pilot hole. Then put a larger bit, which is like three eighths, uh, and run the drill in reverse so it doesn't catch the plastic and, and break it off. Um, in my case, I used a Dremel. Uh, and the Dremel, of course, you just turn it on and just kind of feed it in and it'll open the hole on its own as it grinds away. Um, also, um, you can use a uh, soldering iron. Uh, and just go ahead and burn the hole and then move the soldering iron around in a circle to open the hole to the desired size. Now, there is no need for a breather hole um, because there's no breather hole in here originally. So what you want to do is just uh, find yourself some sort of cap. Now I have ca factory caps like this, so I used a factory style cap. However, you can use a cork. You really don't even use a. You don't have to use a cap at all. You can use uh, just a piece of tape or a band-aid or whatever you may have, um, and you can then go buy whatever refill you want, whatever kind of soap refill you want, and just at that point, as it's sitting in the the bathroom, turn the unit off so it doesn't dispense soap as you move your hands around it, and you pull your cap off. And then you take the large bottle, whatever it may be, and you just squeeze it into the hole. And that's it. You know, once it gets to the level, of course, you put the cap back in. Pretty simple. I mean, it's self-explanatory how to refill it at that point. But it saves you a lot of money. If you want to save even more money, uh, you can make your own soap, which I'll go ahead and do eventually a couple videos on that. Uh, if you want to check out my channel and see if they're posted, uh, it's going to take a little while because I'm going to have to get my wife involved to some extent because she does a lot of the soap making. It's very easy and boy do we save a lot of money. It's surprising how much money you spend on soap. So this is the uh, first way that we saved. We were using bought refills but uh, then we went into uh, this modification and the large refill bottles that we were filling this with and now we make our own soap to refill it. Um, another uh, tip uh, that I wanted to show you if you ever have if you do buy one of these and it's running and you see that it's leaking in your bathroom sink uh, just tip this thing up and I don't know how well the camera is going to catch it but there's a little electronic eye here just run a q-tip through here and clean it just clean it all off because that's all it is is it's got some uh, soap residue from whenever you filled your hand you must have bumped it um, and it it, it blocks that eye and that electronic eye then thinks that there's somebody's hand there all the time and it'll just continuously dispense it. But that's it. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, post them below. And uh, if you like this video, you'd like to see more like it, just click the like button. Um, I appreciate it. And uh, thanks again for watching.